welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I am Shine, and this is going to be the daily drama for Thursday, October 26th. And what we have here is the challenge, or the obstacle, the challenge for the masculine, and how they can get through it. Advice, same as for the feminine. And then we have a card of advice from the universe for you both. And then we'll clarify, of course, with the little Sabilis, my favorite little dick. So the challenge is greed. This could be getting what one wants, getting what one desires, which is a new beginning, a new beginning in, in regards to this relationship and trying to go within because we have solitude, which is kind of like the hermit card. You know, and then sexual attraction, new beginnings. So the challenge is possibly to finding out a way how to get money so that, you know, this reunion can happen. Because there might be traveling involved or just needing to have a little something to get us going. Let's see, greed. Nona Meditata. Yeah, this is to get what 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 the masculine desires, which is to, to have a home life again with the feminine. Trying to figure out a way to make make it happen. We have, whoops, solitude. We have Mercante, which is the merchant or someone who's at a distance. And then we have Lamika. So the masculine who's at a distance from the feminine, who, you know, they, they want to have a home life with, you know, possibly, you know, obviously a commitment, possibly marriage. You know, someone who they also consider to be their best friend. Someone who's reliable and dependable. And this is them discovering how they, you know, how they feel about this person, about the feminine. It's like solitude is to become enlightened to... Solitude, we have Denari, which is again discovering that we value someone. Fortuna, like the wheel of fortune, karmic wheel. It comes around, goes around, things coming around for the better, things coming full circle, new cycles, new beginnings. Again, and trying to figure out a way to not be separated or at a distance from the feminine anymore. Again, trying to figure out maybe for some money. Sexual attraction, we got Alegraza Aquare, which is either, you know, happiness, joy, celebrations, you know, for new beginnings. Ah! That was not... That was not... This was going to flip. El Vivido. Because there's been regrets. A widower. Someone who's in the past. Or can't let go of the past. 
can't move on from someone from our past because you know that you want to be with them. Sexual attraction, we got, yeah, foolish choices, regrets of our foolish choices and wanting to persevere. Wanting to have happy times again, new beginnings. That's the challenge, to figure out a way to make that happen. And how you can figure out a way is, well, gain some clarity. <laughs> and make an offer. But to do that, you got to open up and have vulnerable. So it's getting out of the fear again of, of expressing your feelings and how and, and making moves. You know, again, getting clear, going within exactly what your challenge is, is, is to do what your challenge is so you can move through it. <laughs> Let's see. Clarity. Fidelita, Fidelita, <laughs> La Fidelta, you know, faithfulness, relationship, fidelity, be clear on what you want to do with this relationship, gain clarity to extend your offer, open up, express your feelings. Vulnerable, you got the precious gift. And the menu, which is union, strong bond, marriage, soulmates, twin flames. Again, ex or expressing that you view the feminine as a gift and that you want to be together with her. And then you have solar plexus chakra, which is facade. And I know this card, this is about healing the inner child. Getting out of our fears because the fear is, getting is keeping you stuck. The fear of being rejected, the fear of, of not getting the love that you're seeking. So you're afraid to make the offer because you're afraid of being rejected. And that stems from childhood wounding, being abandoned, being left. And you also have victim, getting out of this woeus. This is heart chakra. Again, being vulnerable, meaning to open up your heart and not be in the victim mentality. Oh my God. This isn't who I am. Inspirational message. If you are unhappy in your relationships, you may be relating to others through a false sense of duty. Give up being something that you're not. That includes, you know, get, getting out of the karmic situation. Like, don't stay in it just because, you, you know, you, you feel obligated to. Um, personal inquiry. Bronze God is about reclaiming life. What have I done to heal my childhood pain? Again, like I said, healing that childhood wounds that are keeping you afraid of love or that have kept you afraid of real love. Key idea is disassociating from yourself, reclaiming your life, healing childhood pain. Key words, recovery, integration, and play. And then we have victim. I am not a victim. I choose to do what I am doing. Inspirational message. The green acorn indicates that being in denial may be holding you back. To move forward, you must make an honest assessment of your situation. Personal inquiry, how are my actions connected to my inability to create breakthroughs? Am I willing to make new choices in order to grow? Key ideas, feeling blocked, blaming others, past resentment, deluding yourself, potential for greatness. Key words, growth, breakthrough, and empowerment. So they're wanting you to become empowered. They're wanting you to have this growth and breakthrough. They don't want you to be blocked. They don't want you to be sitting in the shoulda, woulda, couldas, and the woes, focusing on the regrets of the past. You know, because it's keeping you stuck. They want you to move forward. 
And in order to do that, you have to make an honest assessment of your situation. You know, don't don't hold yourself back living in, in ruminating thoughts and, and false stories and negative self-talk and fears and, and all of that. You know, they want you to free yourself, free your thoughts, take action and, and open your heart. And your advice is past life issue. This situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. And then you have visualized success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. You know, don't be in the woes. Think positive. And this past life issue, I mean, I know what the issue is with me and my twin. I know exactly what the block was in this life, why the karma happened, all that. If you look on the homepage and the playlist, there's a, you know, there's my video blog. And there's one called Who Am I? Or the Time Walker one. And that's where I kind of go into a little bit of my past lives, my karma, to kind of give you an idea of how that all kind of plays out in your current situations. And I make mention of me and my twin, what our past life connection was and what kind of was blocking us in this life. Um, so definitely these things come into play in regards to this lifetime. You know, in, in the past life, the other person was the one who inflicted the whatever. And so it's kind of, that's why in this lifetime it had to be balanced. And once it becomes balanced, then you have an opportunity to do it right, you know, because the karma has been cleared. So you might want to get a past life, look into that. You can do Akashic record readings. You can do, you know, past life readings in the tarot cards. You can have past life regression. Like if you're really interested in delving deep to see about your karma, and what you incarnated in this life with that needs to be transcended, you can look into that. And that can kind of help you in your ascension work. But they're letting you know that the reason why the things that happened in this life with you guys, the way that it did, it has to do with something in the past. Some kind of karma that had to be balanced out. And it's also playing a part in your fears and in your, your phobias and your anxiety or whatever other emotions that are keeping you stuck. And that's why they want you to visualize success and think positive. And you also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So again, open up. And then we have children again. We have the childhood wounds here and then we have the children card. Now this again, everybody knows this can be actual children. You know, maybe you guys have children together. You want to have children together. Or this is again the hot the childhood issues that are keeping you stuck, keeping you in your fear. And then we have gentleness. Archangel Sandophon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. You know, as I made mention in the last video, a lot of a lot of people are needing to go easy on themselves because you're meeting parts of yourselves that you've been at war with your whole life. You know, that ego that's helped you navigate those defense mechanisms from those childhood wounds, those things that have kept you stuck or made you have bad choices in regards to relationships or repetitive patterns because there was a lesson involved that you needed to get and it took you a few relationships to have that awakening but they're asking you to just be gentle with yourself through the process and that you know what to do archangel uriel trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay so there's your advice masculine and I'm going to steal these cards because I never know if I might need them for the other side. Oops. And it's probably going to get dark in here because I didn't put on the light. Uh, I have a feeling I should turn it on. I don't know if it's going to get dark before I'm finished. 
it looks a lot brighter on the screen, but trust me, and like, and I'll be here, and it will be completely black. I might have to shut. I'll have to shut off and come back. Hold on, so I put the light on. I'm sorry. Okay. Hold on. Now we fixed it. Now I don't have to worry about it being too dark. All right. So for the feminine, what is her challenge? We've got stop, look, listen. Something that needs to be paid attention to. And then we have the master. This is either mastering oneself, mastering one's emotions, you know, so that we regain control of ourselves and the situation. And then you have inspiration to become inspired, to try to have some foresight on, on a forward moving direction. And then we have truth. So this is either you trying to find the inspiration to move forward because you realize some truths or you're in search of some truths. Let's see. Stop looking at it. Oh, El Minio. This is reunion, strong bond, marriage, commitment, twin flame, soulmate. Alagraz al cuare, celebrations, happy times. So, they might be telling you, hey, it's time to celebrate. It's the same card that came on the masculine side, Donna Meritara. This could be you. You needing to celebrate because the home life is about to change around. There might be a reunion coming up. Yep, a relationship. Someone's pledging their faithfulness or fidelity or wanting to commit. Master, we got the thief. Consolation, ruminating thoughts, or weighing, you know, this almost reminds me kind of like the Seven of Cups, like having to make a choice. You're trying to choose. You know, because I was sitting in one's thoughts trying to choose. Again, this could be mastering oneself. Trying to become inspired because we know that the feminine is... is met with the challenge of releasing the past, moving forward, clearing out that energy, and also possibly having to forgive, work on forgiveness. Maletra. So someone's coming in, expressing how they feel. Dispiacere is again mastering the self, overcoming sadness, or someone's expressing that they've been sad after so long of waiting for a message. Well, this is like your challenge. Inspiration also kind of reminds me of the uh, 
you know, the Nine of Wands, the guy that's trying to persevere as we're through the last battle. Trying to fight the one last fight. I'm inspired to go one more round. Oof. That's <laughs> the thief and the enemy. Yep. This is on inspiration, trying to become inspired despite this. <laughs> to forgive that. Domestico, here he comes. Gonna serve You know, this is the helper. So again, this is someone might be needing some help. In order to, to get get to you, maybe they're asking you for help, and you're trying to figure out if you want to extend that help. Because there's been some regrets. Or you, you, you're having trouble getting inspired because you're still focusing on the past and what happened in the past and the pains of the past. And the challenge again is this forgiveness. And I'm trying to, both of you try to lay this to bed because the pain has lingered for so long because there's been poor communication or no communication, people hiding their true feelings, leaving this side to assume things and leaving this side to assume things because what they're sending out, they're only responding to what they're sending, what you're sending out. And then this is just creating more fear within you and whether or not you want to extend something. But it's like you created that. You created that with all your hiding behind the mask. You know, you made this person think you don't give a shit. So that's why your challenge is to prove that you do. To admit that you were hiding your feelings. To admit all the things that you've been hiding to be honest, I said that in the monthly for November. It's all about how you come to the feminine is going to determine a lot on how she decides to move forward. And you have to come correct. You have to be honest and vulnerable and open and let it all out. Because she needs to see your heart. She needs some reassurance to, to, to let her guard down to give you some help or to, you know, enter into this situation again. You have to give her some kind of proof that you're real, that you mean what you say. No more games, no more lying. Trust has to be reestablished here. And that comes first and foremost from people being honest and expressing how they feel. And also people being willing to forgive and Try again. There's, there's fears on both sides. Truth. This is, you know, getting message from someone from the past. So it's the masculine coming in delivering some truth. Of learning and wanting to find the truth about what's happened in the past. Truth is lenemica. So this is you needing to, again, the two of you not being at odds with each other anymore because of what's transpired in the past. It's about releasing it. Trying to release it. That's, that's the challenge. Trying to forgive. And how you get through it is be at peace. 
you know, have the peace offering or accept the peace offering in regards to love, to get over the heartbreak, you know, lay it to bed, let go of it, let go of the pain and be at peace and open your heart by changing your perception because you too that are in the victim mode thinking it was all this person forgetting our, the role that, that you played in the enabling or the sticking around or allowing this is a saying you know you more than likely you saw the crack way before the ass this, this stuff doesn't come out of nowhere you see stuff building over time or things happening over time and when you stay in something willingly you're an active participant in that including in whatever pain that you get not that you ask for it but you're hanging around to keep just in case it comes your way so it's again about changing our perception it takes two to tango and once you realize that you know, and that doesn't mean that we start beating ourselves up for, I wish I didn't do this, the shoulda, woulda, couldas either. And look at it all from a spiritual perspective. The two of you came together to teach each other something about each other that needed to be healed and transcended that was due to something karmic, whether in a past life or in this life. Something that was just within you that needed to be healed and transcended. And this person did the job. And this person did the job for you. It's about perception. And once you see that, and people have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, healing can begin. And then you also have complacency. This is the root chakra. This is how we ground ourselves. Sitting in the wowis. Same thing here. Everybody's still sitting in the wowis. But let's see. The heart knows what the eyes cannot see. This is perception. In inspirational message. Often our journey brings us full circle, leaving us to wonder why things happen. Emerald Stone teaches us to follow through on whatever is before us. Going back is not an option. Personal inquiry. What in my life needs tending? How good will I allow myself to feel? Key ideas. Transformation in the heart. Change in perception. The unknown. Promise of a richer experience. Keywords, beauty, open heartedness, and appreciation. And then we have complacency. I am feeling the loss of my dreams. Inspirational message this is a warning not to give up. Beware of coasting along in a situation that is not what you really want, that includes sitting in the lowest. You will never be fulfilled by the unmet dreams of others. Personal inquiry how can I redefine my dreams? How can I stop procrastinating? Key ideas, finding self-nourishment, leaving dreams unrealized, feeling depleted, time for deep rest, lack of motivation, hold them back. Keywords, daring, indomitability, and reclamation. Um, indomitability, I looked that up because I had such a hard time saying it. I, and I, if I recall correctly, it means to not be defeated. Like, so don't accept a, a self-defeatist attitude. Be daring. Reclaim your life. Reclamation. You know, no more feeling depleted and lack and no motivation. You know, loving yourself, healing yourself, finding self-nourishment. So, we're saying don't give up. Change your perception. Be at peace in regards to love and, and heartbreak. Like try to heal whatever you're still holding on to so that you can release it and transcend the energy. Same on this side. And your advice, parents. The divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. Again, those childhood wounds. Manifestation power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Same thing here. Visualize success. Manifestation power. Think positive. And then you have keep an open mind. 
These, your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectations. And then religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, if this is a twin flame, this card usually comes up for twin flames, too, if it's in combination with a soulmate thing. Um, or it's just, you know, a soulmate that is could be your life partner. And you said, because not everybody meets their twin flame in the same lifetime. That depends on who you are, where you're at on your journey. But people have a lot more soulmate relationships than the twin flame. But know that either way, I mean, this situation involves that. Because there was karma, there was lessons learned, and this is a soulmate situation in the very least. And it is part of your divine path. You know, it could be, again, a life partner. And then we have nurture. Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. This is like, again, children here, healing the inner child, because the inner child here, again, parents, it's all little kitty boo boos. And they want you to spread your wings. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So it's about getting out of the fear, getting out of the woes, both people. Healing yourself, healing the inner child, not be scared. You know what to do. Be positive. You know, know that all happened because that's how it was supposed to happen. It was about karma and lessons, healing teaching and learning. Now it's about forgiving and trying to see things from a different perspective. Not putting ourselves in the victim roles, changing our perceptions, no more being complacent and sad and believing the false stories that you, you tell yourself with the stinking thinking. You know, I don't deserve it or nothing ever works out for me. They're all, it's, that's, and that's all you're going to get is more of that. That's so what they said, think positively. Because what you put out is what you get back. And also because the two play off of each other. And the advice for both of you is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Be in the present, not in the past, not in the future. And it's about law of attraction. Again, you, whatever you put out is what you get back. You put out stress, worry, and anxiety, all you're going to get is just ruminating thoughts and no action. You put out depression and sadness or whatever, you're just going to get more of that. But if you try to think positively, follow your heart, follow your intuition, make those moves, let go of your fears, you'll attract what you are seeking. Because what you are seeking is seeking you. And on that note, my lovelies, I wish you love and light. I wish you well. I wish you healing and I wish you luck. In regards to this and anything else you might be going through, if you'd like a personal reading, all the information is below. It's also on the channel homepage. There's a video there with information on readings because I get people asking in the comments um, how to get a reading. And also, please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Look for the new videos, the different signs that will be coming up over the course of the next week. The weeklies are already up, and the monthly is going to go up with this video. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.